today I'm just going to start unboxing this and uh, try and do a presentation with a voiceover later on. So what you can see here, this is a 5205W. It has an unusual X on the label on the side. It is from 1952. And uh, let's take a look at the rest of the box around. And you can see it has the writing, which seemed to be common in 52 on the box. So let's spin this around and start unboxing. So actually, if we open it up, we can see that right off, we have two pieces of straight track. So um, this is very common with uh, boxes and everything. This set came with uh, 12 sections of curved and two straight tracks. And that's how they always laid them out, right on top. We'll set that aside. Let's move our box out so we have some working area. So initially, we're going to open this XA11666 air chime whistle controller. We'll see what we have in here. So right away, we notice that it's missing the actual plug-in control. Set these over here. So, but we have a very nice gray air chime whistle. If we take a look at the back side, we notice that somebody has already put some quick disconnect clips for the transformer. And here's our wire for the track. So very nice. In the original packaging, here's our instructions for the uh, how to hook it up. set this aside. Next thing we have is uh, American Flyer Instruction Book. So we'll leave that over there. We'll need that in a minute. Our first car is going to be the 662 Vista Dome Pullman. So let's open it up and see what we have. This car has been wrapped up in tissue paper. What a beautiful looking car. That's a very nice chromed plastic car with very little wear. I don't even know if this has been run hardly. Maybe a little bit. So also you notice on the couplers, these are uh, 49 to 52 style black couplers. It's a nice Vista Dome. And set him aside. Our next car is the 661 Streamline Coach. Another beautiful car. A very nice plastic chrome 661. There's a few blemishes on it, but actually it's a very nice shiny car with the link couplers and very little wear on our tires, our wheels. Our third box, now this one's a little different, it's different lettering, 660 baggage and club car. So let's open it up and let's see what we have. Here's our baggage car. Now this one has a little bit of chrome damage right here and then along the side. 
I don't know if that's from the factory or something that happened later. And if we look on the other side, there's definitely some blemishes on this. So it looks like they had some issues with the chrome on this particular model. Once again, very nice, very clean wheels on that car. Next box. Box of 702 Curve Track. We open that up. This has obviously been used. It probably need to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's strung with a rubber band. And that's our curve for the track. So the last one, of course, is our 405 diesel A unit. Let's go ahead and open it up. Set this right over here, and we'll open up our diesel. This one still has the, the nice cardboard packing on it. We'll set that aside for the moment and we'll open it up. Oh, what a beautiful one. Set this over here. So, here's our silver streak. So it looks like this one it might have faded out a bit. The chrome's damaged just a little bit on the side. It's not a perfect chrome, but a lot of them were like this, according to Greenberg's guides. This particular one had the, you know, didn't have a front coupler on it because it was a link coupler unit. And there you go, a little bit of damage on the side. Underneath, very little wear, very little wear under there. So this will be a good one to run. So let's set them aside. So you're probably wondering, where's the streamlined observation car? Um, this is the way this set came in 1952. It just had the, the three basic plastic cars and either they hadn't produced the plastic uh, curved ended observation yet, or they were just trying to get rid of excess inventory and uh, the chrome uh, Santa Fe diesels by applying a different decals. So this is exactly the way this set came. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take it out to our four by six and give it a try. So while I had our silver streak out underneath the lights, I wanted to show you something interesting about the chrome finish. So if we look very closely, you know, at first I thought this was uh, scratches right here. It almost looks like some kind of scratch in the paint and then scratch over here. But if you look closely, this one in the middle, it actually has a teardrop shape to it. And these ones on the outside, flow down this way and this way and then this one comes back this direction and out that way so I just thought that would be interesting to try and picture for you let me see if I can get a good shot of that little triangle you know the teardrop shaped uh, blemish in the chrome now, the other thing about this one, I mean, there are several blemishes all throughout the chrome on this engine. Something's been, you know, it uh, looks like it's been chipped away on the back over here and right here as well. So it's hard to say if that's just how the, how it was chromed over or, or like it was a bad shell and this is just how the chrome came out on it. This one's been rubbed a little bit on the side, maybe the track laid up against it. And um, so the other side is the same kind of a thing. 
It's almost like they didn't polish the chrome well enough before they put it on. So I thought I would show that to you. And let's take a look at the rest of the underneath. So the Silver Streak diesel was actually a single motor diesel. It had just the one power truck in the front. And if you zoom over the back, it's just a regular, uh, uh, just a power pickup kind of a truck. Now, this one was equipped with the horn. So if you look under here, it has a horn button that was riveted in. Uh, so there's a horn along with this unit. So if we take a look at the bottom, here's our oiling felt. Uh, so we can take care of our power truck. This one did have a, uh, a pull more traction rubber tire on it. And on the back, here's our non-oiling uh, slots right there. And both of these are all pickup for electricity. So I thought I'd give you a shot of the underside and take a look at that. In 1952, the AC Gilbert Company decided to offer a single motor PA diesel streamliner set to its catalog. Previously, the PA diesels had been dual motor units with a PB unit attached to the PA by a screw on a drawbar. The new PA diesel would be a single motor unit with a link coupler and would pull three streamlined Pullman cars. In the early pre-production catalogs, the diesel appeared in the CB and Q Burlington livery probably as a way of carrying on the tradition of the Santa Fe streamliners already in production. For some unknown reason, the company decided to go with a generic name for the train set and call it the Silver Streak. This, along with the development and beginning of knuckle couplers in 1952, led to the standard silver line of streamlined passenger trains offered by Gilbert in the years to come. 
The Silver Streak was the first in the line of these, with the Silver Comet replacing it as the lower cost single motor or streamliner in 1953. The green and yellow Silver Rocket, the brown and orange Silver Flash, and the new Chrome Warbonnet Santa Fe Streamliners and Freights followed in 1953, leaving the Silver Streak as a one-year wonder. 1952 was also a year for the new plastic streamline cars that replaced the venerable and heavier extruded aluminum streamlined Pullmans. Many Gilbert historians have expressed that the company was delayed on the streamlined observation cars and reserved these for the higher end Santa Fe passenger trains in the 1952 line. The Silver Streak was equipped with a streamlined combine, Vista Dome, and a coach only. Per the catalog, the streamlined observation could be purchased as an individual item if someone wanted to add one to the train. The set was shipped with 12 sections of curved track and only two sections of straight track, which made a smaller oval setup. My demonstration track has two more straight tracks and of course the two switches which act as curves on this layout. So it's slightly larger. So what about the yellow striped silver streak that appears on the front cover of the 1952 catalog crossing an erector bridge? Well, it actually exists. The yellow striped version was in the initial pre-production run of around 12 sets that appeared at various train shows around the country and possibly ran at the various halls of science. As you can see here, this article from the Ray Morland collection shown on the website American Flyer Displays in History shows a silver streak set on the second New York Hall of Science layout circa 1952. You can tell the date by some of the mini craft buildings that are displayed on the layout. It's too hard to make a positive identification, but it appears that the locomotive doesn't have the darker stripe, which would indicate a red stripe on the diesel in a black and white photo. The same thing can be seen in the catalog set picture, a light colored diesel with no indication of a dark stripe. I found this particular set in a train store in Norman, Oklahoma many years ago. The owner was originally from the Chicago area and was selling this Silver Streak and its cars along with two other sets that he had during his boyhood in the Windy City. You can see on the wrapper that it was written to the boys, to the boys, this Silver Streak came with two aluminum extruded streamlined Pullmans and one of the new plastic coaches, demonstrating the mix of old and new cars that appeared in the 1952 American Flyer line of trains. It also indicates that the Silver Streak may have been a dumping ground for leftover chromed, sometimes poorly chromed, Santa Fe diesel shells and cars before the introduction of the new knuckle coupler PAs that followed in 1953. At the time, I was unable to purchase the set, but my Uncle Ray was able to get the train when he bought it from the owner in Oklahoma. The set is now long gone, sold to a private collector to help my aunt make ends meet following the passing of my uncle. I want to thank that individual for helping out my aunt during that sad time. If you are watching this, you know who you are. Thank you so much. That's it for now. But I leave you with a short video on the state of passenger trains during our modern times. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. All of Science West, the YouTube channel with yellow stripe silver streak diesels crossing erector bridges.